This is Tony or Tony Kenspeed. A worn cassette can lead to poor shifting and put undue wear on the whole drivetrain and any chain that you may put on. There are certain things that you should look for on your cassette whenever you're doing normal maintenance to help you know when to replace it. Let's take a look at some of the things we look for. When inspecting your cassette, make sure that it's clean so you can see it closely. This is a fairly new cassette and we can see that the top of each of the teeth is nice and flat and there's uniformity in the groove of each cog as we look at it from one to another. As the chain wears, that is stretches, the distance between the rollers become greater and the rollers no longer sit down at the bottom of the groove but tend to roll up onto the top of the teeth wearing the teeth and deforming the teeth. As we can see here in these back larger cogs are severely worn compared to the ones up front which are flatter. This is a severely worn cog also. With time and experience you can pick out slight to moderate wear of the cog in the leading edge. You can even see a small metal lip on that marked moderate wear. Roll-off makes a 9-speed cassette wear indicator that can be adapted to a 10-speed, but still close inspection of the cassette is extremely helpful. Incorporating these tips into your normal routine will help you know when to replace a cassette before you begin to have problems.